Welcome to American Accent Training. This book and CD set is designed to get you started on your American accent. We'll follow the book and go through the 13 lessons and all the exercises step by step. Everything is explained and a complete answer key may be found in the back of the text. Exercise 118. Reading with staircase intonation. Read the following with clear intonation where marked. Hello. My name is Anne. I'm taking American accent training. There's a lot to learn, but I hope to make it as enjoyable as possible. I should pick up on the American intonation pattern pretty easily, although the only way to get it is to practice all the time. I use the up and down or peaks and valleys intonation more than I used to. I've been paying attention to pitch, too. It's like walking down a staircase. I've been talking to a lot of Americans lately, and they tell me that I'm easier to understand. Anyway, I could go on and on but the important thing is to listen well and sound good. Well, what do you think? Do I? Exercise 119, Spelling and Numbers. Just as there is stress in words or phrases, there is intonation in spelling and numbers. Americans seem to spell things out much more than other people. In any bureaucratic situation, you'll be asked to spell names and give all kinds of numbers, your phone number, your birth date, and so on. There's a distinct stress and rhythm pattern to both spelling and numbers, usually in groups of three or four letters or numbers, with the stress falling on the last member of the group. Acronyms, phrases that are represented by the first letter of each word, and initials are usually stressed on the last letter. Just listen to the words as I say them, then repeat the spelling after me. IBM, MIT, PhD, MBA, LA, IQ, RSVP, TV, USA, ASAP, CIA, FBI, USMC, COD, SOS, XYZ, Box, BOX, Cook, COOK, Wilson, WILSON, Area Code 213, Zip Code 94708, Date 9662, Phone Number 555 9132. Exercise 120. Sound meaning shifts. Intonation is powerful. It can change meaning and pronunciation. Here, you'll get the chance to play with the sounds. Remember, in the beginning, the meaning isn't that important. Just work on getting control of your pitch changes. Use your rubber band for each stressed word. My tie. My tie. Might I? My keys, my keys, my keys, in key, in key, inky, my tea, mighty, my d. I have two, I have two, I have to. How many kids do you have? I have two. I've been to Europe. I have too. Why do you work so hard? I have to. Exercise 121. Squeezed out syllables. Intonation can also completely get rid of certain entire syllables. Some longer words that are stressed on the first syllable squeeze weak syllables right out. Cover up the regular columns and read the words between the brackets. 
actually, average, aspirin, broccoli, business, camera, chocolate, comfortable, corporal, desperate, diamond, diaper, different, emerald, vegetable, beverage, bakery, Catholic, nursery, onion, every, family, finally, general, groceries, interest, jewelry, mathematics, memory, orange, probably, restaurant, separate, several, liberal, conference, coverage, history, accidentally, basically. Syllable stress. Syllable count intonation patterns. In spoken English, if you stress the wrong syllable, you can totally lose the meaning of a word. Machine is hardly recognizable as machine. At this point, we won't be concerned with why we're stressing a particular syllable. That understanding will come later. Exercise 122. Syllable Patterns. In order to practice accurate pitch change, repeat the following column. Each syllable will count as one musical note. Remember that words that end in a vowel or voiced consonant will be longer than ones ending in an unvoiced consonant. La cat, jump, box, la, dog, see, plan, la la, a dog, a cat, destroy, a pen, pretend, your job, pea soup, la la, hot dog, icy, Suitcase, project, sunset, get one, do it. La la la, Bob's hot dog, Bob won't know, Sam's the boss, Susie's nice, Bill went home, cats don't care, stocks can fall, school is fun, la 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 la, a hot dog. I don't know. He's the boss. We cleaned up. In the bag. For a while. I went home. We don't care. It's in March. La la la. A hot dog. I don't know. Jim killed it. Tomorrow. A fruit cake. The engine. A wine glass, potato, whatever, la la la, hot dog stand, I don't know, analyze, article, dinner time, digital, analog, cell structure, la 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 la, spots a hot dog, Jim killed a snake. Joe doesn't know. Nate bought a book. Al brought some ice. La 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 la. It's a hot dog. He killed a snake. He doesn't know. We came back in. He bought a book. La 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 la. Bob likes hot dogs. Anne eats pancakes. Cats eat fish bones. Bears are fuzzy. Planets rotate. La 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 la. It's my hot dog. Imitation. Analytic. We like science. My to-do list. La 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 la. A hot dog stand. Jim killed a man. 
analysis, invisible, a platypus, la 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 la, permanently, demonstrated, category, office supplies, educator, complex intonation, word count intonation patterns. This is the beginning of an extremely important part of spoken American English. The rhythms and intonation patterns of the long streams of nouns and adjectives that, that are so commonly used. These exercises will tie in the intonation patterns of adjectives, nouns, and adverbs. One way of approaching sentence intonation is not to build each sentence from scratch. Instead, use patterns. With each pattern similar to a mathematical formula, Instead of plugging in numbers, however, plug in words. In exercise 1-2, we looked at simple noun-verb-noun patterns, and in exercise 122 and 123, the syllable count intonation patterns were covered and tested. In exercises 124 to 137, we'll examine intonation patterns in two-word phrases. It's important to note that there's a major difference between syllable stress and compound noun stress patterns. In the syllable count exercises, each syllable was represented by a single musical note. In the noun phrases, each individual word will be represented by a single musical note, no matter how many total syllables there may be. At times, what appears to be a single syllable word will have a longer sound to it. Seed takes longer to say than seat, for example. This was introduced on page 3, where you learned that a final voice consonant causes the previous vowel to double. Exercise 124. Single word phrases. Repeat the following noun and adjective sentences. 1. It's a nail. It's short. 2. It's a cake. It's chocolate. 3. It's a tub. It's hot. 4. It's a drive. It's hard. 5. It's a door. It's in back. 6. It's a card. There are four. 7. It's a spot. It's small. 8. It's a book. It's good. Write your own noun and adjective sentences below. You'll be using these examples throughout this series of exercises. Two-word phrases. Descriptive phrases. Nouns are heavier than adjectives. They carry the weight of the new information. An adjective and a noun combination is called a descriptive phrase. And in the absence of contrast or other secondary changes, the stress will always fall naturally on the noun. In the absence of a noun, you'll stress the adjective, but as soon as a noun appears on the scene, it takes immediate precedence and should be stressed. Exercise 125. Sentence stress with descriptive phrases. Repeat the following phrases. 1. It's short. It's a short nail. 2. It's chocolate. It's a chocolate cake. 3. It's good. It's a good plan. 4. It's guarded. It's a guarded gate. 5. It's wide. It's a wide river. 6. There are four. There are four cards. 7. It was small. It was a small spot. 8. It's the best. It's the best book. Exercise 126. Two types of descriptive phrases. Repeat. 1. It's a short nail. It's really short. 2. It's a chocolate cake. It's dark chocolate. 3. It's a hot bath. It's too hot. 4. It's a hard drive. It's extremely hard. 5. It's the back door. It's far back. 
Six. There are four cards. There are only four. Seven. It's a small spot. It's laughably small. Eight. It's a good book. It's amazingly good. Pause the CD and write your own adjective noun and adverb adjective sentences, carrying over from exercise 125. Exercise 127. Descriptive phrase story. The Ugly Duckling. The following well-known story has been rewritten to contain only descriptions. Stress the second word of each phrase. Repeat after me. There's a mother duck. She lays three eggs. Soon there are three baby birds. Two of the birds are very beautiful. One of them is quite ugly. The beautiful ducklings make fun of their ugly brother. The poor thing is very unhappy. As the three birds grow older, the ugly duckling begins to change. His gray feathers turn snowy white. His gangly neck becomes beautifully smooth. In early spring, the ugly duckling is swimming in a small pond in the backyard of the old farm. He sees his shimmering reflection in the clear water. What a great surprise! He's no longer an ugly duckling. He has grown into a lovely swan. Exercise 128. Sentence stress with set phrases. Repeat the following sentences. 1. It's a finger. It's a nail. It's a fingernail. 2. It's a pan. It's a cake. It's a pancake. 3. It's a tub. It's hot. It's a hot tub. 4. It's a drive. It's hard. It's a hard drive. 5. It's a bone. It's in back. It's the backbone. 6. It's a card. It's a trick. It's a card trick. 7. It's a spot. It's a light. It's a spotlight. 8. It's a book. It's a phone. It's a phone book. Pause the CD and write your own noun and set phrase sentences, carrying over the same nouns you used in exercise 125. Remember, when you use a noun, include the article. When you use an adjective, you don't need an article. Exercise 130. Set phrase story. The Little Match Girl. The following story contains only set phrases, as opposed to the descriptive story in Exercise 127. Stress the first word of each phrase. The little match girl was out in a snowstorm. Her feet were like ice cubes, and her fingertips had frostbite. She hadn't sold any matches since daybreak, and she had a stomach ache from the hunger pangs, but her stepmother would beat her with a broomstick if she came home with an empty coin purse. Looking into the bright living rooms, she saw Christmas trees and warm fireplaces. Out on the snowbank, she lit a match and saw the image of a grand dinner table of food before her. As the matchstick burned, the illusion slowly faded. She lit another one and saw a room full of happy family members. On the last match, her grandmother came down and carried her home. In the morning, the passers-by saw the little match girl. She had frozen during the night time, but she had a smile on her face. Contrasting a description and a set phrase.
We now have two main intonation patterns, first word stress and second word stress. In the following exercise, we'll contrast the two. Exercise 131, contrasting descriptive and set phrases. Repeat after me. One, it's a short nail. It's a fingernail. Two, it's a chocolate cake. It's a pancake. Three, it's a hot bath. It's a hot tub. Four, it's a long drive. It's a hard drive. Five, it's the back door. It's the backbone. Six, there are four cards. It's a card trick. Seven, it's a small spot. It's a spotlight. Eight, it's a good book. It's a phone book. Pause the CD and rewrite your descriptive phrases, exercise 125, and set phrases, exercise 128. Exercise 132, two word stress. Repeat the following pairs. A light bulb, a light bulb. Blue pants, blue jeans. A cold fish, a goldfish. A gray hound, a greyhound. An old key, an inn key. A white house, the White House. A nice watch. A wristwatch. A sticky web. A spider web. A clean cup. A coffee cup. A sharp knife. A steak knife. A baby alligator. A baby bottle. A shiny tack. Thumbtacks. A wire brush, a hairbrush, a new ball, a football, a toy gun, a machine gun, a silk bow, a band aid, a bright star, a firecracker, Mary Jones, a mailbox, Bob Smith, a spray can. Foreign Affairs, a wine glass, down payment, a footprint, New York, a strawberry, Social Security, a fig leaf, City Hall, an ice cream.